My name is Claire Emery, and I wrote my name up here for you to see. And what um, what I am going to do is I'm going to work with you today as part of the PAX and Project. PAX and PTA approached the ZAC. Um, I started Zootown Arts Community Center um, in PAX and Elementary School um, in 2007. Um, it was an after-school program doing outreach all over the city of Missoula. And in 2010, the Paxson PTA decided that they would like to have more art in their school. Um, currently, the students only receive about six hours per year. I'm pretty sure that that's where they're at these days. So um, that was a concern for them, and it was definitely, um, it's always been a concern for the Community Arts Center, and um, we'd like to you know, continue to do those out more outreach programs. And so it was it's kind of serving right now as a pilot project for maybe a larger scale, you know, process of bringing more art into the elementary schools in Missoula. I, um, I am a natural science illustrator too, so I use art to tell people about science. The three artists involved in the Paxson Art Project were Claire Emery, Hannah Hannon, and um, Janaï Naviera Marquis. And, um, Claire really focused on sketching and drawing and nature observation, lots of science um, with co-development there. Okay, are you ready to draw this? Are you ready to draw this twig? The buds have to Be brave and mix your colors. So we're going to color that one. At the actual I gotta use a little dark green. And that means that, that, that drawing, you looked at a real life subject to do it. You looked at your buds and your twigs. One of the really important things about having art education in the schools is um, allowing students to have sustained inquiry without requiring a clear right answer but giving them time to problem solve on their own is really important. Today where our art is going to be inspired by the importance of logging in Montana because we help the United States make homes, the desks that you're sitting at, um, a million different things are made out of wood and we transport it all the time on our roads. So it's a very important industry to us also from our past, okay? I focused primarily on printmaking and processes and investigative learning, um, as well as our local culture. So whenever you draw, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be half on this side and half on this side. Are we drawing <coughs> air balloons? No. And rock stars? No. no. Always fun, but not today, right? <laughs> what, what are we gonna draw images of? What are we talking about? Mining, mining, uh, logging, logging, logging trains, trains. We've always had art. It's always been important. Whether people were drawing on their water containers and carving into um, walls or designing their clothing and attire, it's always been a huge part of being human. And it's a basic human need um, to, like, express yourself. My name is Peggy Manning and I'm a second grade teacher at Paxson School and I have found this art program to be beneficial in many ways. Um, one, it's really fantastic for kids to have these opportunities to explore and use different mediums in art, but also I find that the children who um, not only maybe struggle a little bit academically, this is such a great avenue for them to express themselves and they are so engaged in their learning and that's really cool to see. Bom dia! Bom dia! Very, very nice. Can you say louder? Bom dia! Wow! Good energy today. Wonderful. Jalaina, uh, she is from Brazil and really focused on a world and cultural level, deconstructing cultures and um, taking information and then applying it to create something new, mostly with ceramics. 
And I'm going to put some music from Brazil on, so you have the opportunity to listen to music that you, ha you haven't heard before. These kids that are having art and being able to um, design things, given the opportunity to problem solve on a different level, they're the ones that are going to be innovative. They're going to be creating the next hybrid electronic cars, ecosystems, um, uh, energy efficient homes, and creating new avenues of business and industry and technology down the road. And art is going to be that key player. Elementary School and I was very pleased when I was invited to come to the school and develop an art class for the entire school. I develop um, ceramic classes for from kindergarten to fifth grade and one thing that I think it's wonderful about this project it's because it's a community-based project as well so we have parents coming to the classroom to help we have the teachers being part of the classroom and being struck to, uh, as an, uh, an art class. And we have the entire school coming and doing projects. And And the other thing is to be able to share something about my own culture. So, like the Portuguese language or the Brazilian history and talking about festivals and seeing how the kids are so excited about. Ooh, what did you make? A, a peregrine falcon. Oh, a peregrine falcon. Wow, that's so cool. So he flies high in the sky, doesn't he? Neat. First Friday in June, you're going to call your friends, your family, and we are going to have a huge exhibition here so they can come and see all the beautiful work you have done here. My personal experience with the Paxson Art Project is that I was part of um, a school taking education into their own hands. It's been a very beautiful experience. If I could do that for the rest of my life, be an artist resident for a, a school, I would, I would do it. Um, especially because um, the pay was meaningful, the projects were meaningful, um, the civic engagement of grandparents and parents involved was very inspiring. Um, the projects that the students did, you know, as far as the student feedback. They really enjoyed it, and they also learned a lot. It was just wonderful. The end goal of the Paxson Art Project right now, we don't know. Certainly, I know that the school is embarking, um, looking for funding to continue it down the road. So somebody getting involved in the project if they wanted to, um, you know, donate to the project or, you know, be a part of it, be a participatory, like, helper, um, possibly apply for to be one of the artists. There's so much that people can do to be involved. Um, I don't know what the final result will be or whether this will serve as a model for the elementary schools in Missoula County. Um, I think that that would be a beautiful end result. But whatever it happens to be, it'll, it will be. But I think it's definitely, as a whole, raised a lot of awareness about what art education can do um, at a different level. Bye.